right. General, good day. The uh, code reader that you purchased is similar to this one. It's a generic code reader. They're all pretty similar in what their function is. Some of the code readers, when you plug them in, just the act of plugging them in, they will configure themselves and read the codes. But we're going to assume that this one you have does not do that. So when we plug this in, Alan's going to show you how this is going to how you're going to access this OBD2 connector and get yourself to the point where you can reset your starts. All right. So first thing we're going to do is come down here to the fuse panel cover. There's a little twist tab right here. We're going to twist that knob and pull this down. And this is going to be the OBD2 port. You're going to go ahead and pull this cover down like so. And then plug your OBD2 tool in like this. Then you're going to take your key and put it in the ignition. You're going to turn it to position two, where all your uh, instrument cluster lights light up. And then from there, you're going to take your uh, diagnostic tool. Um, they're all going to be a little different. Um, this one here has an option for diagnostic codes. We're going to say enter. And then it also has an option to read codes. This is all we want to do. We're going to hit read codes. It might take a second. Um, there may or may not be fault codes um, that this scan tool can read, but doing this right here will give you up to five starts. And then all we're going to do from there is turn the ignition off, unplug the tool, close all your covers, and then when you put the key back in the ignition, uh, this vehicle did not have zero starts left, but it would give you a message that said you have five starts left. So General, if you wanted to, what you might want to do is take your scan tool, give it a trial run, you know, when you're at the house, and uh, try it out. And if you have any troubles, uh, just email me back. If there is a menu in it, uh, I'll e email you back the procedure for the menu, but if not, you're just going to plug it in, it's going to do it by itself, so either way. But you know, you can give it a trial run. You can't hurt anything, and that way you get a practice, uh, practical on how to operate it, so in case if you get, end up in a position, you'll know how to do it already. If you have a trouble, let me know and then Al and I will put something together for you. Have a good day. Absolutely.